let's discuss about lumbosacral plexus so what is the formation of plexus it starts from l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 we can also include the last thoracic now that is t12 let's divide the branches which are raised ventrally and dorsally so this side we have ventral ramae and right side we have dorsal ramae branches so from t12 we have a branch from l1 we have two branches from l1 and l2 we have a branch on the ventral side from l2 and l3 there is a branch which goes dorsally and from l2 l3 and l4 there is a branch both ventrally and dorsally l2 l3 and l4 and from l4 along there is a branch on the ventral side and l4 and l5 joins to form a trunk so what are they so from t12 it is subcostal nerve from l1 we have ilio inguinal and ilio hypogastric nerve so the root value of both ilio inguinal and ilio hypogastric is l1 then l1 and l2 joins to form genitofemoral nerve it has genital component and femoral component from l2 l3 and l4 on the ventral side there is a branch called the ventral division of l2 l3 l4 is obturator nerve from l4 alone there is a nerve called nervi furcalis and l4 and l5 joins to form lumbosacral trunk similarly on the dorsal side so on the ventral side l1 and l2 forms genitofemoral nerve whereas l2 and l3 the dorsal ramae forms lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh so because of 90 degree inward rotation of lower limb but we have all the dorsal ramae supplying the anterior compartment of thigh now from l2 l3 l4 dorsal ramae we have femoral nerve which is the nerve of the front of thigh now what are the branches from the lower part of lumbosacral plexus for convenience let's again write l4 l5 then we have sacral nerves s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 so again we have ventral ramae and dorsal ramae on the ventral side from l4 l5 s1 we have a branch and from l5 s1 s2 there is a branch similarly on the dorsal side from l4 l5 s1 and l5 s1 s2 and from s2 alone then s2 s3 and s4 so these are the branches from the dorsal side ventrally we have from s1 s2 s3 and s2 s3 and s4 and from s4 alone 
now let's write down all the branches from dorsal rame so l4 l5 s1 superior gluteal nerve which supplies gluteus minimus and medius from l5 s1 and s2 it is inferior gluteal nerve which supplies gluteus maximus from s2 it is nerve to piriformis from s2 s3 s4 the dorsal rame gives pelvic splanchnic nerve so these are the branches from dorsal rame from ventral side like superior gluteal nerve with the same root value l4 l5 s1 there is a nerve to quadratus femoris so root value of quadratus femoris nerve is l4 l5 s1 like inferior gluteal nerve l5 s1 s2 on the ventral side there is a nerve to obturator internus S1, S2, S3 joints to form posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh. This nerve lies close to the sciatic nerve with the structures beneath gluteus maximus. This is posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh. And ventral ramay of S2, S3 and S4 forms pedendal nerve. This nerve is otherwise called nervi erigens. Ventral remy of S4 supplies levator ani, coccygeus muscle, and sphincter ani externus. We have talked about the most important nerve in the posterior part of lower limb which is the thickest nerve of the body that is sciatic nerve its root value is from L4 L5 S1 S2 S3 and this sciatic nerve has two components the one from the ventral side is tibial component its root value is L4, L5, S1, S2 and S3 from the dorsal rame is common peroneal component which is L4, L5, S1 and S2 so in the posterior part of thigh the tibial component of sciatic nerve supplies hamstring group of muscles so what are these hamstring muscles number one semitendinosus number two semimembranosus three ischial part of adductor magnus ischial part 4 long head of biceps femoris whereas the common peroneal component of sciatic nerve supplies only one muscle that is short short head of biceps femoris so these are the nerves from lumbar and sacral plexus here we have all the branches from T12 to S5. Thank you.